Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you my 2023 wish list today. This is something that I've been reflecting on um, as we've entered the new year, thinking about what it is I feel is missing from my wardrobe, what I would like to invest in and add this year. It's not a huge or extensive list by any means. I feel in quite a good place with my wardrobe at the moment, particularly for this current season, so the autumn winter season. I imagine once we get into spring and summer, there will be some things that I think of and add to this list. But for now, this is where it stands. The first item is jewellery. And this is something I spoke about in my 2023 resolutions, fashion resolutions video. I want to wear more jewellery, um, put more of an effort into the jewellery that I choose, and also add a few new pieces to my jewellery collection this year. And there's two kind of categories that I'm thinking about. One, on the one hand, I want more statement jewellery, more interesting pieces, maybe that's bigger pieces that are quite bold. I tend to go for quite small dainty jewellery most of the time you know thin necklaces thin rings thin bracelets small earrings um, and perhaps add in a few more pieces that are chunkier bigger bolder brighter perhaps include some color as well as just metal so that's one aspect of it the other aspect aspect of it is a little bit in contrast to that and it's adding some 14 karat gold pieces that are 100 percent gold i have a couple of sterling silver pieces i have some white gold in my collection um, and I have some pure rose gold as well and all of those pieces are so easy to care for you don't have to worry too much you can wear them you know washing your hands out and about um, and they're relatively easy to maintain and they still look as good as they did five ten years ago when I was gifted them or when I bought them so I would like to add some yellow gold that is just pure gold into my collection and I'm mainly looking at Majuri for this because I think Majuri do quite a few 14 karat gold pieces at a reasonable price price and I like the styles they have um, they do some daintier pieces but they also do some slightly chunkier pieces in the gold as well so I'm definitely considering a few things I think it's mainly earrings and rings for me necklaces um, I like to play about with a little bit more I like to have more variety so I think I wouldn't necessarily have one or two necklaces that I wear all the time and, and that are in the 14 karat gold because I like to switch it up um, and same with like watches and bracelets I like to switch up whereas having a few rings and a couple of pairs of earrings that I know aren't going to tarnish they're not going to irritate my skin they're not going to be affected by washing my hands um that would be really nice so yeah there are definitely a few on the Majuri website that I have my eye on for sure the second half of that as well is a jewelry box because I don't have a good way to store my jewelry at the moment I have I do have this kind of necklace hanger that I've had for quite a few years which I use and then I have a few different trinket dishes and pots that I use to store earrings and rings watches but it all gets tangled really easily and it's just not especially now my jewelry collection has grown in size slightly um it's just not practical anymore so I would like a proper jewelry box to store all of my pieces in and also make sure they're protected um they're not going to get damaged from the sunlight or whatever it might be um and, and yeah ultimately make it a bit easier to fulfill my resolution of wearing more jewellery because I find if things are tangled or I can't find something I'm just not going to bother so having it all stored really easily where I can just pick out a few pieces each day would be the ideal so I'm looking at the stackers jewellery boxes mainly because they seem the most practical um, you can add different layers to them so if you find actually I could really do with some more storage for my rings or for my necklaces you can add layers individually to them and you can build kind of a custom jewellery box that suits your needs um, and you can also get layers that you can um, store like sunglasses and watches I have a few North Green watches that I would like to store properly and a couple of pairs of sunglasses as well so you can get specific trays that you can do that with so I think that's probably the best brand for me to go with um, and maybe I will get one of those in the near future before I invest in any of this nice jewellery so I have somewhere to store it and look after it. The second item on my 2023 wish list is a specific item not all of these are specific items but this particular one is and it's the Cezanne Scott Trench so you're probably sick of hearing me talk about this because I've talked about it in one of my previous wish list videos and I've also talked about it on my Instagram and I've come really close to buying it a number of times and I think I am going to buy it um, ready for the springtime because I just love the look of this trench coat I've seen a few reviews of it as well and it seems incredibly well made it's got some details on it in particular that I really love I love the bust 
buttons on the vent at the back. That's a unique detail that I have never seen before. It also, I think, has a button at the back where the belt is because with my Burberry trench, my, my vintage Burberry, I have the issue that the belt, if I don't have it tied up, it will just fall out as I'm walking. And I think that's a problem with a lot of trench coats. Whereas the Cezanne one actually has a button that you can attach the belt to the coat with the button at the back. So you can't really see it, but the, the, um, the belt isn't moving about as you walk and it doesn't have any chance of falling out. So it's little details like that that I really like about the Cezanne one. Um, and I like the look of it. I like, it looks like a nice fit, a slightly oversized fit, but nothing too oversized. It's slightly longer than my Burberry one, which is one thing I don't love about that trench coat is it is quite short. And generally I prefer a longer silhouette. So that is definitely on my radar. Um, it comes in three different colors. I think I have my eye on the khaki color because the other thing with the Burberry one is I don't love that color on me, that tan beige color. I just don't think it looks that great on me. I think it washes me out a little bit. And I think the khaki one might suit me better and suit my wardrobe better and the tones that I have in my wardrobe a little bit better as well. So that's definitely quite high up on my wish list and something I imagine I will purchase fairly soon so I can get the wear out of it in the spring when it is warm enough. Another item on my wish list are some knee high boots. Again, this is something I think I've spoken about. I would absolutely love a pair of knee high boots with a slight heel that I can wear probably in leather, but I do really like the look of suede ones as well, although they are less practical. My issue is I do have wider calves, so I just don't think I'm gonna get away with any from Cezanne or Rouge or Bobbies. I've seen some on all of those websites. I've also seen some I like on Alohas, but I just don't think, I'm gonna double check and measure my calf and, and check it against the measurements of the boots, but I just don't think any of them are gonna fit me, um, looking at kind of the model pictures. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any of those, which is why I've never had any before. But I really wanna change that and I really wanna find some specifically for wider calves. So I have a few websites that I'm going to have a look on and I will probably um, buy some to review either kind of in the next month or so, or I might wait until September when it, it gets cooler again because I'm, I'm, it's not something I'm probably going to wear in the spring and summer. So I either need to buy it now or wait a while. So the main website I've been looking at is Duo Boots and I've seen a couple on there that I do like. I don't like them as much as the Cezanne ones or the Bobby's ones, unfortunately, um, but there are some that are quite similar. So there's a brown suede pair that resemble somewhat the Cezanne brown suede ones. I think they're the Adele boots on Cezanne. And there's also some leather pairs that I like the look of as well, some black ones or some brown ones. So I think that's something that I definitely want to try out this year. I think I wanna push myself a little bit more to try new things, things that I haven't worn before, things that maybe I thought weren't possible for me to wear or just outside of my comfort zone. I wanna be wearing those and having a little bit more fun with fashion. So that's definitely fairly high up on my wish list. Next up is a bag from Pelen. I would absolutely love a Pelen bag. I have known about Pelen for a couple of years now, but I've never tried any of their bags and I would really love to get one to add to my collection. I love the brand. I love all of their bags. I love all of the colours they do. They seem really well made. Again, I've watched a few review videos from people I really trust saying that the quality is really good. And I think for the price point, it is really reasonable. There are two particular styles that I have my eye on. It's the numero neuf was the first one that really caught my attention. And I absolutely love the shape of it. I think I would go for the mini size just because I don't tend to wear bigger bags. So I think the mini size would suit me perfectly. So that is an option. I really like it in the brown, but also I really like it in the burgundy color as well. The second one from them is the Numero 10, which is a present shaped, moon shaped bag. And I have fallen in love with the black one, specifically the black one with the white stitching. I think there are two different kinds, one with the white contrast stitching and one without. And I absolutely love the one with the white contrast stitching. I think it looks so expensive and so luxurious, um, especially for the price that it is. I think it's a beautiful bag. I saw a review of this one and it just looked gorgeous. So that's probably top of my wish list in terms of bags. There aren't really any other bags that I'm after at the moment. I can't envisage myself buying many other bags, but Plen is a brand I've wanted to try for a couple of years now. So 
I can see myself buying one of their bags at some point this year. The next item on my wish list isn't specific, but I've been seeing on Pinterest a lot of denim on denim looks that have been really inspiring me. I'm really enjoying that look of specifically a pair of jeans, like a wide leg or flared or straight leg pair of denim with some kind of denim on top as well. I think it looks really nice with a camel coat over the top. I've seen a few images of that and I just think it's it's modern, it's fresh, um, gone are the days where denim on denim was a faux pas. I think it looks really cool as long as you do it right. So I would like to experiment with the denim on denim look, but I don't have any denim tops or denim shirts. So that is something I would potentially consider adding to my wardrobe if I found the right one. I, I'd be quite picky with the style and the shape. I wouldn't want it to be, you know, a boring denim shirt. I'd want it to have a little bit of detail going on. Probably, therefore, something from Cezanne who do details really well. There is one on Cezanne that I like the look of at the moment. It's got kind of a puffed shoulder and it's a little bit more statement. I think it is nice because the jeans are fairly simple to have the denim on top be a little bit more structured, a little bit more statement-like. So that's one. I've seen a couple of others. I think other good places to look would be Bash. Um, where else would I look for that? I don't think Rouge have any denim tops that I know of, but yeah, probably Cezanne or Bash, something quite French. Um, I really like the look of that. So I would like to do that, um, but that's not a definite. Um, it would only be if I found one that I really, really liked. Next up is another pair of shoes, and it would be a pair probably of babies or ballet flats, something in that category. So I really like the Cezanne Paula babies and um, I think they are bringing them out in a new color at some point. I think it's like a light sage green that I really like the look of. Um, so those are definitely an option or any kind of baby. I know Rouge do some as well. I don't know how um, comfortable or high quality those ones are. Um, and I also know that Jonak do quite a few, I think. I think Aloha's again have some as well i don't think bobby's had any as when i looked but um yeah a pair of those kind of traditional strappy babies with the heel the mid heel that's kind of a couple of inches um i like the look of them they're not a shoe that i've ever owned or own anything similar to really so i think they are they would fulfill a gap in my wardrobe and I think they'd be quite a nice springtime shoe where it's a little bit warmer. You don't necessarily want to be wearing boots, but it's not full on sandal weather yet. So again, something that I might think about purchasing in the next couple of months. Kind of depends when Suzanne bring those out in the light green, because those are the ones I really have my eye on. The final item on my wish list would be a silk or a cotton, but probably a small square silk scarf. This is something that I've kind of been thinking about adding for quite a while, but just haven't come across one that I really love. It's something that I would quite like to get secondhand because there are so many of them floating about the vintage and secondhand market. So I know Suzanne have lots that they've done in the past that you can often find on Vinted or Depop. So yeah, it's something that I'm just kind of holding out, waiting until I find the right one. I want something colourful or pattern something interesting and pretty that I can tie around my neck or I can tie to a bag or in my hair something that just adds a little bit of flair and accessory to um, a simple outfit so that is everything on my wish list I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what is on your 2023 wish list I would love to know get some inspiration some ideas from you as well let me know if you're doing a low buy or a one item per month anything like that that'd be really interesting to hear about too I do like this video if you enjoyed it because it does really help my channel out thank you for all the support and love recently especially on my last video if you haven't seen it I'll link it but it's a big old Suzanne try on and review other than that I hope you're doing really well and I will see you all very soon on my channel for my next video